stop. <laughs> no, you're good, bro. <laughs> bro, this is bad. <laughs> so, why did you pick up a, a wagon? Did uh, you, are you like a Euro guy? I always had BMWs. Uh, uh -huh. But, um. Yeah, no, you're good. Curb rides your wheels. When's the last time you, or have you drove right in? Or? Yeah, I've driven uh, Hondas though. Oh, Hondas? Yeah, so they drive a little different than this car. Welcome back to Automotive Anatomy. So today we're gonna hit up uh, Moreno Valley. We're gonna go show some love to Brian uh, Slimeball Build. Uh, Slimeball Build. I always get it wrong, but Slimeball Build Garage. Uh, we're gonna see an update from uh, his all-wheel drive K20 Turbo EK sedan. I know that's not the proper EK sedan. This EJ. I don't know what it is. But anyways, we're gonna go uh, hang out with him for a little bit. I wanna see the progress since uh, Dana left, and then. Um, Brian has been mocking up uh, some of the plumbing for the turbo, so I think that's pretty cool. So we're gonna go check it out. But before that, look at this beautiful view. Don't mind the dirty windshield. It's been really, really windy out here in Orange County. But anyways, yes, let's go show some love. Let's get to drink some coffee and let's just, uh, you know, Spend some good vibes, I guess. Hold on, let me get my. Let me get he my. Know, he knows more than uh, than I do, so maybe. Bro. <laughs> All right, guys. So as we mentioned, we made it to uh, Brian's house. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about all this stuff that he's been doing because he's actually. Um, as you guys remember, the engine was over there. Now it's in here where it belongs. See some stuff. So we're gonna go get some coffee first. Warming up the right hand drive. Uh, DA. Hey, is it still a DA? Yeah. Okay, DA, cool. DA7. DA7, okay. And then obviously he's the money, but hey, that, that turbo, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. It reminds you guys me, will definitely be surprised when you guys see. It reminds me of uh, when I first got my sedan. It had a massive, you know, exhaust leak, but I like the way it sounded. Yeah. Until so it got really bad where I was smoking in there. I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta change the header. So. That's the way I am with this one. Yeah? Bro, it's already to the point where it's just like, it gets to you. And that's why I've, la I've lagged it for like a year already of fixing it. Well, you got some other stuff that you're doing, so. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. And how long have you had this car for? I've actually owned the car for going on a little bit more than two and a half years. And you wanted a DA or did you just like stumble upon it? No, so everybody knows me for basically having the ef chassis ef wagon um the long lost stepchild of the ef chassis um <laughs> the black sheep yeah the black yeah, sheep, wanted one you know so now everybody wants it because of the whole all-wheel drive setup but back then nobody cared about these cars so i had a uh case k20 swapped uh civic wagon and honestly i couldn't really drive it because i went too far on it as far uh -huh. as making it a track vehicle trying to make it a track vehicle right where i ended up putting switch panels and everything else and you couldn't really leave it in the store at a store because it was all turned on by a, a switch panel uh -huh. and never used the key anymore from that point on so i ended up just end up selling it to a friend of mine in georgia and then at the time i was planning out my wedding um and i used some of the money some of the proceeds for my wedding mm -hmm. and then i ended up purchasing this da um because it was just too good of a deal to pass up and it was a chassis that i kind of wanted to mess with and you imported it yourself right but like yeah. with a hell of a people but like you yeah yeah i did all the importation paperwork i did everything pretty much all by myself i just had the person drop it off in the port in japan port. was that the first car that you imported no this was actually the fourth car that i imported oh okay gotcha okay so 
next steps are what for you on this one? So right now I'm in the current stage. Right now I'm current stages is I'm actually doing the intercooler piping all over again. And You're doing that? I'm doing it. And by intercooler piping, you mean this? Yeah. So Which looks of, really nice, by the way. All of this right here, the front and the back, the cold side, I am redoing everything. Did you do this originally? Uh, actually, Brandon welded the, the first piece onto me for me. Uh -huh. And then I ended up doing the rest of it because I was really scared uh -huh. of tackling it myself. Because, yes, I know how to weld, but I didn't have the full experience of uh, well, TIG welding aluminum. So it was a learning process and basically I was able to conquer it, you know? There's mm -hmm. mess ups here and there, but I'm proud of them because that's, it makes it who I am and I made it myself. Yeah, gotcha, okay. But what's wrong with the plumbing system? So the car, when I first started building the car, I had the car on the highest setting, which was, cause these are the EF or the EK K2 mounts, which allows you to run the K24 on the low setting and also the K20 on the high setting, which is what it's supposed to be on, I believe, or it could be the other vice versa. Mm -hmm. So when I originally had the motor inside the car, because this car is all wheel drive, I have, I was technically supposed to be running on the high setting. So, I had pretty much mocked up everything and I had forgot one piece of the puzzle and that was the actual T-bracket. Sorry, sidetrack. Your son's homie? Yeah. Damn. Oh. You guys know how I feel about those wagons and E30 chassis. Jesus. Why are we talking about this Civic, bro? <laughs> Bring the wagon back. Yeah. Bro, don't, don't get any wagon except that one. That thing's nice. Oh my God. <laughs> It sounds nice too. Uh huh. Might have to go check it out later. Gotcha. Okay. So that makes sense. Like there was a little bit of uh, hiccups when it comes to that. Um, I like the way the plumbing looks right now, but uh, are you gonna change the design of it? So yeah. So me and me and uh, Young Static Dana, we ended up just talking about how how can I make this engine bay a little bit cleaner. Since we put the engine in and I refreshed, painted the engine, the transmission, and pretty much put everything brand new, like all the titanium hardware, and made the custom brake lines for it, I figured we might as, I might as well make it more cleaner as far as using transitions. So instead of it being so many pie cuts to get it correct, use less pie cuts and only use the pie cuts where they're necessary. And that's what I didn't do in the first time. I just started putting pie cuts, pie cuts, pie cuts. And if you're into welding, you'll know the, the thinner or the smaller the pie cut is, the faster you're gonna burn through it. You can burn through mm -hmm. the metal. And that was something where I started having, I started burning through some of the metal. So now it's just very basically getting it to where I can use a full 90 degree bend here, mm -hmm. just shorten the angle of it to get it what I need and then make it a lot cleaner of a transition and then use the pie cuts down here on the lower section right, where, you really where really it connects to the inner cooler. Gotcha. Now, the inner cooler, it will sit the way it is right now. So you don't have to cut anything else into the bumper? So the, the, at this point in time, yes, the bumper still needs to be a little bit trimmed. The main reason okay. why is because there is a little bit of interference here due okay. to the fact that where the V-band <clears throat> actually locks onto is actually hitting the grill. It's not a major thing that I really need to address because the bumper locks in to its current position, but you can still feel the tension that's on it. So slowly, I'm modifying it, fixing it, so that, that way we have the clearance so that it's not always rubbing up on Just it. Just minor cuts so that Just way there's cuts. no issues. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Right now nah, you're good, you're good. Gus, nice to meet you. What's up, what, Russ? He loves your, he loves your oh, shit, bro. wagon, man. It, bro. Freaking nice. Appreciate it. I was watching your video last night, man. I watching you like every night, bro. Yeah, for sure. I, sure. I love that, man. Thanks. I was watching the DA one and the... I'll let y'all get it. Your wagon? Yeah, bro. Well, let's that's, do it, bro. That's why, I to, that's why I wanted to come, man. I, just, I heard you was down here and they hit me up. They're like, yeah, come by. Bitch. That's what's up. What's your name again? Wes. Wes, nice to meet you, Wes. Nice yeah. Nice to meet you, too, man. We're just, uh... Nah, finally got some quality now. I was wasting my time there with the Civic and then... Some real thing come up, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nah, sure man, people is like it. Clean, man, but this, this yours too, huh? Yeah, it's my little bucket, bro. Nah, it's clean, bro. This is beautiful. Jesus. Yeah, a couple people wanted to shoot, man, but I just I just worked a lot, man, and I heard you were in town, so. Hey, let's let's send me your info. I definitely want to do like a proper interview for this car, man. This is this thing is beautiful. I love E30s. And the wagon is absolutely my favorite, man. Like it. these wheels, man. Oh my god. Compromotive, yeah. 
I've seen their 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 wheels, man. They're great. Yeah, and his manual? Manual, three twenty five with AC. What? Right hand drive. Hey, you spray the the door carts, huh? The door? The door carts. No, I just wiped them down with uh, the wipes. Really? The wipes? Yeah. They're black. Yeah, they're because really they're really shiny. So I thought you had to spray them, you know? Yeah, no, it's it's uh. I knew you, I knew you was in town, so I had to, you know, wipe it up. <laughs> Appreciate that, bro. Damn, bro. Yeah, this I did. thing. <laughs> Tire shot. Baby oil, bro. Well, it sounds like you never wash your car, bro. <laughs> Man, I, I wash it, but it's always in the garage, bro. Sure, you should see his Lexus. He has another. What, she, what do you have? Oh, just a GX 470. She, That's she, the daily. She needs a wash. Him. That one needs a wash. How long you picked this one up? Uh, I picked it up like a month ago. I got it shipped out here from Florida. Oh yeah, that's my business. A month ago? Yeah, about like a like a month and a half from Florida, and it took about like a week to get out here. It's been two, two months. I swear to God, it's been two. So you bought it as is? Uh yeah, as is. I just added the the lift, the side skirts, the tail lights. So no. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did pretty much a lot. Yeah, um, as is, and then just names everything that he's changed. That's oh, bro. Gas tank, fuel pump. Um. What did you say your business for? What? Uh, claw machines. So if you guys are interested in the claw machine, it's absolutely free. I maintain them every week. So if you're out here in the IE, man, let me know. That's cool, man. Claw machines. Man, this thing is so mint. I think I know your neighbor, bro. It's clean. Keep my info in there whenever you want to. Um... Yeah, let's 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 shoot because this is cool. You want to drive it? Nah, man, that's too much responsibility. I know you want to drive, man. Come on. <laughs> I'll take it around the block. Yeah, Let's go. He said, if you would say it. I'm like, nah, I don't want to. And then, bro, this is badass. <laughs> this is second, so just put it in. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You're going with me. What do you mean? Oh, I'm going with yeah, you? hell yeah. Oh, yeah I'm not driving right. someone else's car without their All owner right. here. All right. You have a little too much clutch. Let's nah, go ahead. Damn, the clutch is. You can take this back home. I'll right? take your car to work, man. <laughs> I got you. The clutch is hard. Yeah. His first time driving a first time. E30 wagon, bro. Yep. Door neutral. What up, yo? Yeah, I was literally watching your video last night, man. I appreciate that, bro. I watched the DA one, the um, <laughs> the EF. All right. So to get into reverse, is it down or up? Uh, you just click it all the way to the yeah. There oh, you go. There you go. Forward, there you go. Gotcha. Okay, I never knew how to. Okay, so the clutch is definitely high. Yeah, 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 I just had the. Oh, she's dirty, my that... And then first is yeah, there we go. You good? You good? You, you good? Bro. All right. Jesus. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I hope I don't stall. No, you good, bro. <laughs> bro, this is bad. <laughs> so why did you pick up a, a wagon? Did uh, you? Are you like a Euro guy? I always had BMWs. Uh, uh -huh. But um, there we go. When's the last time you, or have you drove right in or? Yeah, I've driven uh, Hondas though. Oh, Hondas? Yeah, so they drive a little different than this car. Yeah. Really wide turn. Okay. Yes, sir. I need me a right hand drive, bro. Yeah, it's pretty cool, very really comfortable. So, uh, so you, you've always been a Euro guy? Yeah, I've always been in the okay. BMWs, but my first, uh -huh. my first car was Hondas back in the day. Gotcha. So, what did you have before this wagon? Uh, before this wagon, I had, a, I had a 335. Oh, nice. And I had Oop. a uh, four door. Oh, nice. Uh, E92, I believe. Or no, E90. E90? Yeah, like the M3 M3? Or not just the, uh... the 335? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then I had the E93. I had a 550. I had a 645. I had a lot of beer. Jesus, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot. But first car that started it all was a CRX, man. That was my first. Oh, okay. So Honda's where it was at. They're still there. Gotcha. We always wanted an E30, but I wanted a clean one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now the wagons are the hardest ones to find. Yeah, exactly. That, Were I, you looking for a wagon? I was looking for something that was hard to find. Gotcha. So, so you wanted to be something different. unique. Yeah, yeah, different. Yeah. Well, you definitely nailed it, bro. Yeah. This is crazy. It. That's good. Appreciate it. Man. She sounds healthy. You know, aside 
time for the exhaust. Uh, what kind of exhaust do you have? Oh, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have an exhaust. There you go. That's yeah. why. I thought it was like a leak or like just an aftermarket exhaust, you know? Yeah, but yeah. But she no, sounds I, good. She feels, I mean, obviously we gotta work on the, the gas thing, but. Yeah, the gas. I you know how to. That. Yeah, it's, You know? <laughs> and we, we the, just, the, the car's still feeling a little lighter when there's low on gas, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just have to kind of guess. Sometimes you get you a full tank and a half tank, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's an old car, man, but I'm old too, so hey, we good, man. You're old? Come on. I'm in my 30s, man. That's old? Yeah, I think so, man. Nah, bro, the 30s is a new 15. Hey, there we go, bro. It's We're the new, new 20s. Teens. It's the new teens. At least we got money in our pocket now, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's Finally, like the 20s, man. but with money. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm surprised uh, the true signals are on the left. Usually, I get those wrong. It's usually on the other side, right? Right. So, yeah. how does that work? Do you know? Oh, man. I don't even know, but it's a lot easier for me. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't really get uh now this is a as far as you know this is a actual European wagon right it wasn't a, actual yeah. it wasn't a right hand drive clip no this is a real right hand drive um, 325i with AC um, manual stick and um, yeah I got it from Florida the dude um, just didn't need it no more uh -huh. uh, needed some money financially and I bought it gotcha Probably the scariest thing I did, wiring some money to someone without seeing the car. I know car. if it's real. Gotcha. Exactly. I don't even know if them. Was it a Craigslist thing or? It was an off-road deal. No. <laughs> I swear. The dude, had, yeah, he had it on there, and I was like, oh man, I don't know about this, man. Then one month later, I was like, hey, let's make a deal, and then. So you sent the money over. I wired the money. Yeah. You wired the money. I wired the money. And then you guys set up, um, just freaking. As soon transportation? As, yeah, as soon as um, I wired the money, he sent me the big slip like a day a, a day after. And then after Bro, that, that... Yeah, and then I had... Man, I didn't even see the car. I just saw... Don't do that, guys. It worked that, out this time, yeah, but don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That's probably the worst. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> The pedals are so close, for sure. Yeah, so close, man. So it's cute. just like a different style of driving my Hondas than driving this. This is rad, bro. Thank you, Wes. I got you, man. Anytime, this man. is crazy. If, if you want to take it back to Orange County or Long Beach, go for bro, it. Bro, don't tempt me. I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't tempt me because the, the minute you drive my, my Accord, you're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be like, what did don't I just do? Don't even worry about it, man. I work in the city. Man, you're <laughs> good, the city. man. You're... <laughs> yeah. If you ever need donuts, man, come on by, man. <laughs> did it take you to get the car about a week about a week yeah but then when i got it i couldn't drive it because the guy that transferred the car over here uh -huh. was taking out the trailer and he broke the gas tank and i wasn't able to drive it because it was oh. leaking gas but then i needed a new fuel pump did he do it right in front of you man he he well the driver was cool he okay. kind of gave me some money to fix the gas tank and stuff like that but it took me about like another two weeks to get this car up and running so damn this thing is bad bro i appreciate it you man. freaking I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going too close over there. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Man, this is bad. But yeah, I follow you. Bro, it's just, those, those wheels are hard to find. Yeah, um, it's nothing crazy. And they look you know. just so good. They look so, so good. Appreciate it, man. Bro, you hey, made you, my you dream come true you, to just drive an E30 wagon. I never I thought you, I was going to do that, especially a... Uh, man. I got you. Wes. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully, I didn't destroy your your clutch. Man, no, that's probably the hardest someone ever driven it, man. I like that, man. <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I think that's, a, that's the hardest someone has driven it." I'm like, "That's not good." <laughs> I was like, hey, I like if it, it if it ain't the the owner who's driven it like that, bro, that's not. Like, hey, remember, you let him drive it. Yeah. I was like, "We're back." Sorry, a little. <laughs> I'm like, a, you know, like the dog and squirrel? Squirrel, I saw a 30 wagon and I'm like, I gotta go check it out. And then Wes, big shout out to you, bro. Letting me drive your car. Um, I usually don't like to drive other people's car, but I'm like, I cannot pass that opportunity. It's such a clean car. There's not that much traffic. So I'm like, I, I can, I think I can do it. And it, it was fun. So we're gonna meet up again and shoot some proper pictures. Cause oh, don't get me started, man. Okay, sorry. We left off on the fact that you're gonna be redoing the plumbing system for your turbo. Yes. Um, and then now you're gonna cut a little bit more from the from the bumper and obviously like I said We're here to show some support to Brian so that way you guys can check it out He one thing that I really like about your videos is that you're um, you're showing all the process You're you're, you're sharing the things that are going right the things are going wrong um, 
and I like it. I think I, I, I've seen you from, you know, the brake lines, and then when then I came and put the motor with his buddies and yourself, and then now for you to start mounting everything up, it's looking like a proper car now, so that's pretty cool, man. So, um, the next steps, you may, we were talking about paint off camera. This is my, my take on it. Obviously, you're the builder, and you can do whatever you want. I would want to just see it kind of running, button up all fuel issues, braking issues, because, you know, something will break. And then after that, paint. But you're thinking a different direction? Yeah. Okay, what are you thinking? I know it's wrong for me to do it, and I know deep down, right, for me to go ahead and try to get the car painted. The main is the main reason why I want to see the car painted is because I've waited so long after being put through hurdles of getting this car painted mm -hmm. um, to where I just want to see my car painted. I wanted to see, this is the vision that I have for this car was to be, I know it's kind of extreme to say it, but like be subtle, right? As far as the color wise, seeing the engine bay, seeing the Mugens on it, seeing the Mugen kit, yeah. it's not like a subtle car, but seeing the color that just goes so well with this build, I want to see this car, I want to see my vision be almost to reality. And I know I should get the car running. Why? Because that's where I'm gonna invest a lot more money into right now, because there's still a lot more things that I need to do, such as we were, like we were talking about. I have to redo the intercooler piping. You know, I have to yeah. do fuel lines to it. I have to get a fuel cell. I have to do all that into the back. Right. Which isn't much because a lot of it is already on its way. Oh, okay. So I already have pretty much everything ordered. Um, I got all the you know, new intercooler piping. Um, I have all my boxes here. Um, and I have pretty much everything. Like, oh, I have all my pie cuts that I need. Okay. I have my piping for my exhaust. You know, there's plenty more piping in here. I have more intercooler piping. And I still need to do the dump tube, which is why I'm locking up stuff now. So, so good. I'm so freaking jelly. It's not even funny. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. I don't care about your Civic right now. <laughs> Damn. That wagon. Like they said, cat in the mouse, huh? Yep. <laughs> Ah, I think it's so pretty. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> if I ever win the lotto, I'm not gonna have issues with substance abuse. None of that, bro. You're gonna have addiction with cars. You're gonna know, cause I'm gonna have a whole bunch of cars. It's not even funny, but now, nah, man, just keep it up. I mean, that's why I wanted to make sure that I stop by. Um, I don't wanna make you feel like I only stop when you know Dana's in town or whatever. No, sure. It is a 50 minute drive for me. Not gonna lie, <laughs> that was without traffic. Um, so it is a little bit ways of, of, you know, from where I live, but at the same time, it's cool to just be able to see the progress in person. Um, because, you know, like I said, I keep, I know that YouTube is a fun game and it's a very, very, very stressful game and you're close to 2000 subscribers. And so if anybody out there, you know, wants to just show some love, like it's cool, like to see somebody working with a very, very tight budget, very real live experiences, you know, trying to just survive and be a family person um to build something this rad you know most of the time we see them when they're on the street and that's it but it's like this when we're documenting everything that we're doing that's the process that's, that should be the fun t you know and it's a struggle it is you know? it's, it's a huge i hear you should be fun man i that's, dig it that's that's the goal for me is be able to take this car up north and just visit dana go to the big shows come back comfortable you know uh, with AC, with power steering, and being all wheel drive and pushing some power. Yeah, you know? I think. Alrighty, guys. So I'm heading back about an hour and some change um, to get home. But uh, it was a good time, a good morning. So thanks, Brian, for you know uh, just hanging out. Uh, also, thank you for the flower. He makes flowers, so that's pretty cool. Metal wells them. So hit him up. Maybe a nice little gift for your special someone. But uh, yeah. Thank you for the making the time, man. Uh, it was a good time, and thanks to shout out to your son for hitting up his homie. And I was able to drive a E30 wagon right-hand drive. Super random, super cool. So definitely a fun time. But we'll get home and relax with the fam. But yeah, show some love if you guys want to see more of that sedan get built. Traffic starting to add up here, but we're going home earlier than other times, so it shouldn't be a bigger issue. But. Alright, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out everyone.